So we're Wednesday playing on Friday night. We're really waiting on today's results to see what happened there and how that'd affect the table. So let's have a quick look at some of the games in and around us, the ones that might affect us in the bottom. Well, Middlesbrough were right down there with us. They've had a really good win today, 3-2 away at Vicarage Road. They took a 2-0 lead through McCree. Watford pegged them back and then Colburn gave them a 63rd minute winner. Equally, Swansea who'd had a terrible start to the season until it was kick-started seemingly by playing Wednesday. They've had a good 3-0 away win at Millwall. And dragged down into the relegation zone today, Queen's Park Rangers, a 3-1 home defeat against Coventry City. It seems with a double. And bad news for South Yorkshire, really. Cardiff City getting a 2-0 win. That's after they beat Sunderland the other day, um, which drags the Millers down into relegation slots with Wednesday. And a quick look at Wednesday's next next two opponents. So we've got West Brom on Tuesday night. Fantastic result for the Baggies. They went to Deepdale, got a 4-0 away win. We've not lost a game at this stage. And then, of course, next Saturday, Darren Moore brings his new team, Uddersfield, to Hillsborough. They were pegged back today, a 1-1 draw against High Flying Ipswich Town. So that 3-0 win for Swansea pushes them up onto nine points, drags them out of the relegation zone. And equally, that 3-1 that defeat at home for QPR drags them down into trouble for the first time since first week at season. Middlesbrough's win, 3-2 away at Watford, that pulls them out of the relegation zone, albeit only on goals, goals four. And Rotherham, the Millers, terrible, terrible sight there for South Yorkshire eyes. Wednesday and Rotherham, the bottom two in the championship, just seven points between them. And Wednesday, of course, the only team in the division yet to register a league win. The worrying thing there for me is the goal scored. The goal scored, uh, uh, you know, five goals in nine games. It really is a concern. Like I said the other day, Gregory Smith, Fletcher, Massab, and any of these players, I don't think particularly any of them's probably going to be good enough to get 20 goals at championship level, especially probably in a team that's just been promoted and is struggling. But to that end, for me, Cisco has got to start playing to up front. But don't care if he, you know, I'm not asking him to go 4 4 2 can still keep his five at back or whatever, but just give us two up there. Give us some sort of outlet because 17 goals have conceded in nine games. If the idea of this five at the back is to keep things tight, that's clearly not working. You've got to go the other way. You've got to be creating opportunities. Draws aren't really going to be enough. We're already getting left behind. We're only nine games in. So whether it's Gregory and Smith or Gregory and Fletcher or Smith and Massab or whatever the combination... Give them lads an opportunity. And equally, let's get that three midfield and give us that little bit of domination. You know, we've had the last few weeks, we've been getting skipped about in there when we've played these teams like Swansea. We've got that extra man in there, Sunderland in there. That little sort of four experiment is not working. So I don't, whether it's Buckley and Byers and... Bannon or whatever the combination in it, let's give ourselves a platform in there to try and get things going and support them lads up front.